All right. So remember on stream, and I just got an Apex, and the first story bit is available to play the first piece. Uh, story chapter one: the Cranky Town artifact, where that is, and a weapon charm. So let's play this. Let's do this. Wasn't planning on doing a second stream today, but I am. So I'm, re I'm actually really excited to see what this is about. Because they're actually doing story now. Oh, wait, there's people. Are there people? It looks like it said zero. Uh, no, it's just me. I can't play Revenant or Loba. Just play uh, Lifeline, apparently. I have a P20 and Mozam. Meds, backpack. Uh grenade and a chest plate and I'm doing this entire thing alone because none of my friends are online so I'm fucking hype for this yo this is the spot watch your back and follow your marker to find the first piece of the artifact all right Is this like PVE? No lying about. I've got a piece to find. More shit. Proceed cautiously. We aren't alone here. Can I stealth this? I really want to stealth it. Oh yeah, we got people. We're not people, but things. Well, so much for stealthing it. Better bag. Oh. Ooh, and hammer points. Oh my lord. Alright, that's just annoying. So can I actually sneak past this thing, or do I have to fight it? it or I can sneak past it. The artifact is close. What I like to see. Alright, uh, what the fuck is going on here? Not the first one to come through here, looks like this thing looks like it get very far. Oh! Raid village and the noise will likely attract local wildlife or worse. Wait, what do you mean worse? I warned you to get worse. Prowlers and shadows. A marriage made in hell. I'm safe up here for right now. The extraction is complete. Go get the artifact piece and let's go. And the piece goes to Lapland. Nope. Oh shit. 
go. Oh, thank you. That was fun. It was actually pretty fun. So I got the artifact piece. More story and a charm. Chapter 1. The Cranky Clown. So we had this meeting in the Labra. The Lavery. The place where you go to the bathroom. That's because it's the Paradise Lounge. And that's because at the Paradise Lounge private, private rooms. Here we believe in being social. Connect with people. Come together as humans. Look. The point is, I'm cranky. You're in a bad mood. What? Yeah, no. I'm. I'm. How, what did you? What do you know? More than you might think. Here it comes. 100, 189 reasons why all the different versions of myself are bummed out. I say as I hand Wraith her apple teeny. I know, right? I would totally make fun of her too. But I saw what happened to the last guy, and I like the idea of having kids one day. So I'll stick with my poker face. Thanks. <laughs> Only need one reason. It bothers you that Loba knows your mom's secret. That's what hit me. But it bothers me that Lobo knows her mom's secret. She knew about my parents too. More than that, she knew. She knows how I feel about them. I and I don't go spreading that. I think she got dirt on all of us. She's similarly aware of the allegations against me, all patently false and absurd, of course. But these cert but that these cretins continue to make to mistake me for a corpse is preposterous. Oh, what's she gonna do for me, huh? Help me run faster. Hey, can't she do that? A bunch of marks, all of you. Bangalore says that she spits onto the floor. Uh, that I, that someone, will have to clean later. She bets her eyelashes and all of you fall in line, advancing into unknown territory to obtain that some trinket. We don't even know what this chunk of junk is. I've been studying it, and it looks like it's encasing a matrix, but it needs the other half to fully. That wasn't a question. The only reason I, I went to that awful place was to make sure none of you ended up in a body bag, or as Caustic's latest experiment. So, no. Instead, we get to be Loba's little errand boys. I don't know about all of you, but I didn't sign up to take orders from some two-bit thief when I signed my Legends contract. If the IMC was still running the show, she'd be halfway to the brig by 0500. So what's the plan? We walk away? There were more in the dark than before. For now, follow her lead, but we do our own in private. We do our own private conversations. She's not telling us everything. I overheard her talking to someone named Yoko at Hammond Robotics about a meeting. Loba has the higher ups there. Yo, I've had a date with a, name, a girl named Yoko from Hammond. I th think they know each other. Wow, they got real quiet out of that one. And lifeline's about two decibels too high when she says, "A date? Come on with ya. Where does this girl know? Does this girl know what she's getting herself into?" Bangalore cuts in, which is annoying because, hi, you had your turn, and we want to see Lifeline kick Octane's butt now. But sure, Bangalore, your thing is important too, I guess. Octane, you know this girl. She hasn't wanted to get a drink. I was thirsty and said sure, but she went tomorrow. I mean, I'll be thirsty tomorrow too, but I don't know, man. She wants me to wait for things. Like, wait, just around? You're not going on this date. Girl doesn't have attitude like that. Yes, he is going. Never turned down a good, never turned good intel down, and right now your boys are only way to get our hands on some. Octane, we need to find out what this meeting between Loba and Hammond was all about, and I need proof. So she can't deny the whole thing, anything they've got. You're gonna let this poor girl sit through some, through, through the torture of this date for, in, in, for intel. Eh, baby. She's tortured. I have to wear pants. Same. <laughs> I look to Wraith, who's watching Octane. Get bounced back and forth between Bangalore and Lifeline like a ping pong ball. She turns to me shaking her head. And you think I'm intense? Eh, a little bit. I know better than answer that question. So I say, I know better than answer that question. <laughs> but Wraith has a point. I've never seen Bangs this worked up. And if Lo uh, Lopa Andrade, 
and ready. I'd be shaking my thigh highs right now. I know two things. Bangler won't stop until she sent Loba on to the packing. And nights like this are totally why I bought a bar. <laughs> Next, the detached chaperone. What's that? In a week. I we have to wait a week for the next Alright. <laughs> Alright. Uh so it seems like everyone is wary of Loba because Loba knows everything. Uh Octane got a date, so he's gonna be going on that date to get intel for Bangalore. Uh so we were reading that as Mirage. But in this one Uh, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure they're in. Let's check for. I I don't know. I don't know who this is. Is this might be? Well, I think the. I think that text th right here is. The other characters talking because of how what they say. This, this we aren't seeing this as one person, we're seeing this as an external of a different conversation. Now the new conversation that just came out was this one, and we're seeing it from the point of view of Mirage. He owns the bar. This is interesting, man. Oh, I'm actually really excited to see how this all goes down later. This is gonna be the shortest fucking video uploaded in the month of like, not even the month, in the fucking decade. <laughs>